the oracles concerning the nation of the United States of America. The Lord has spoken with me about the judgment of God coming to the USA. And the Lord asked me to turn my face in that dream and face USA in that dream. And when I turned my face toward the United States of America, the country and the nation known as the USA, when I just turned my face to face them in that dream, the Lord made me know that God is the same way he turned his face to face Sodom and Gomorrah. Then at that time he spoke and commanded them to repent. Repent from homosexuality what? that is rife and legalized in that nation. To to, to, to repent also from other sexual sin, heterosexual sin, fornications and adulteries. And then he asked me to tell them to repent from abortions that are legalized in that country. And also repent from the kind of churches they are sporting in that land. The churches that are posted and fallen. The churches that are apostate and fallen. And to repent from the gospel of prosperity that they are using to defile the whole earth. The USA is defiling the whole earth using the gospel of prosperity. They have abandoned the cross and the blood of Jesus. The Lord says, you must now return or I strike you. Na Bwana akasema ya kwamba watubu tokana na injili ya ufanisi ambao wanaeneza kote kote duniani na kuna jinsi dunia yote mzima. Hivyo basi Bwana akasema ya kwamba mpate kutubu ama atawe hukumu. The Lord asking the USA to repent from the false prophets you see there preaching the gospel of money and they have no holy word in their tongues. Bwana akiuliza Marekani wakapate kutubu tokana na wale manabii wa uongo na mitume wa uongo ambao wanaeneza injili ya uongo huko na hawana utakatifu katika ndimi zao. To repent from the false apostles that are all over the church in the USA. Watubu tokana na mitume wa uongo ambao wako kila mahali kule Marekani. To repent from the abortion sexual sin in the church. Wavyo tokana na kuavya mimba dhambi ya usharati kanisani. Repent from immorality the nudity of women in the church. Watubu tokana na usharati uchu wa wanawake kanisani. And the lewdness and pornography within the body of Christ in the USA. They must now repent the king is coming. Na ule usharati sugu kabisa na ule uovu kabisa kanisani katika mwili wa kristo hivyo basi lazima watubu na kugawu katuka kwa dhambi kwa sababu masia yuwaja the king is coming mfalme yuwaja everybody must obey kila mtu lazima ati and so when they refuse to repent in that dream kwa hivyo walipokata kutubu katika hiyo ndoto then the lord asked me to take my left prophetic hand like this when i just moved it like this in the dream na wabwana to point at them na wabwana kalisababisha ni chukua kidole changu cha kushoto cha kiuna bina mna hii wakati ambapo nilisangasha tu kukonyeza na mna hii kwa wawo he turned me towards washington dc haka nigeuza kuelekea katika washington dc in that dream katika hiyo ndoto towards washington district of columbia kwa Washington District of Columbia. And at that point, na kwa wakati huo, I saw the, the, the Washington Monument tumble towards my left like this. Fell down. A massive earthquake hit them. Hit that land. Hit the USA. 
Nikaona mnara wa Washington ukaporomoka namna hii kuelekea upande wangu wa kushoto. Tetemeko kubwa kabisa la ardhi nikaona. Niliona manabii wa kutisha sana wa Bwana wakagonga Marekani katika hiyo ndoto na tetemeko kubwa la ardhi. And the Washington Monument tumbled and broke into blocks into pieces broke fell on my towards my left like this na mnara wa washington ukaporomoka na kuku down ikaporomoka chini namna hii upande wangu wa kushoto alafu ikavunjika vunjika vipande vipande then after that alafu baada ya hiyo i saw the national cathedral in washington nikaona katedrali ya kitaifa kule washington where the president and the who is who is go for service Mah- church service mahali ambapo marais na wale watu mashuhuri wao wanaenda pale kwa ajili ya ibada then the right and side when i'm facing it my right hand side of that that cathedral collapsed halafu upande wangu wa kulia which is the left hand side as i face it in front of the cathedral but my right hand side collapsed halafu up- went boom down like this halafu upande wangu wa kulia wakati ambapo ninaangalia hiyo cathedrali hiyo cathedrali ikaporomoka namna hii katika upande wake wa kushoto and then after that halafu baada ya hiyo i saw the lord turn my face to the capitol hill Nikaona Bwana akageuza uso wangu kuelekea kwa Capitol Hill. The seat of power. Katika kiti cha nguvu. And then the dome on the ra- my right hand side of the dome collapsed. Alafu ule mduara katika upande wangu wa kulia ikaporomoka. And people were running. Na watu walikuwa wanakimbia. So time is over. Hivyo wakati umekwisha. Blessed people. Watu wabarikiwa. The Messiah is coming. Masiya yuwaja. The Lord has commanded the USA to repent and turn away from sin. Bwana ameamrisha Marekani watubu na kugeuka kutoka kwa dhambi. The Messiah is coming. Masiya yuwaja. Everybody must prepare the way in their heart. Kila mtu lazima apate kuandaa njia katika mioyo zao. Remember the Bible says Kumbukeni Biblia inasema For without holiness Kwa maana bila utakatifu Nobody will see the Lord Hakuna mtu atakayemuona Bwana The so blessed people Kwa hivyo watu wabarikiwa The Lord Bwana The Lord has spoken this word Bwana amenena neno hili The Lord Bwana The Lord Yahweh has spoken this word Bwana Yahweh amenena neno hili And when all these come to pass. Na wakati haya yote yatakapotimia. Then you will know that the Messiah is coming. Ndipo mtajua kwamba Masiya yuwaja. And that the prophets were promised the book of Malachi are now back. They are now operating from the earth here. Na manabii waliohaidiwa katika kitabu cha Malaki sasa wamerudi na wanatenda kazi tokana na duniani humo. And so they are bringing nations to account. Hivyo basi wanafanya mataifa kuwajibika. They are bringing them to repentance. Wana waleta katika toba. And judging unrepentant nations. Na kuyahukumu mataifa yasiyo tubu. The king of glory is coming. Mfalme wa utukufu yuwaja. Repent ye the nations. Subuni enyi mataifa. And turn away from sin. Na mgeuke toka kwa dhambi. Thank you. Asanteni.